And if you're ready, let's begin. Once upon a time, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, in a little house in the woods, lived three bears. There was a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a little baby bear. Mama bear said, "I think I will make porridge for breakfast today." She made a great big bowl for Papa Bear, a middle-sized bowl for Mama Bear, and a little bowl for Baby Bear. But the porridge was so hot, they couldn't eat it. Papa Bear said, "My porridge is too hot." Mama Bear said, "Ooh." Porridge is too hot. And baby bear said, "Oh, my porridge is too hot. I have an idea. Why don't we go for a walk in the woods while the porridge cools?" Good idea, Papa Bear," said Mama Bear and Baby Bear. And off they went. Meanwhile, a little girl was taking a walk in the woods. My name is Goldilocks. I am taking a walk in the woods. Just as the three bears disappeared into the woods, Goldilocks came skipping up the path. When she saw the little house of the three bears, she said, "Look at that nice little house." Wonder who lives there? I will go and see. And she skipped up the path to the house. When she reached the house, she knocked on the door, but no one answered. Yoo-hoo! Hello! She called. Yoo-hoo! Is anybody home? But all was quiet, so she walked right in. When Goldilocks got into the house. She realized that she was very hungry. I wonder if there's anything to eat in this house," she said. "Oh, look! Someone has made some porridge. Oh, I am so hungry. I'm sure they will not mind if I take just a little taste." First, she went to Papa Bear's great big bowl. And took a taste of porridge. <gasps> oh, this porridge is too hot," she said. Next, she went to Mama Bear's middle-sized bowl and took a taste. Ugh, this porridge is too cold. Then she went to Baby Bear's little bowl and took a taste. Mmm, this porridge is just right. Maybe I will take. Just one more little taste," she said. Well, maybe just one more little tiny taste. And before.
before she could stop herself. She ate it all up. Oh, said Coldilocks, look what I've done. I ate it all up. I will make some more. But first, I need to sit down and take a rest. Goldilocks found three chairs in front of the fireplace. Look! Three chairs, she said. I think I will sit for a while. I will make the porridge later. First, she tried Papa Bear's great big chair. But it was too high. This chair is too high, she said. Next, she tried Mama Bear's middle-sized chair, but it was too low. This chair is too low, she said. Then she saw Baby Bear's little chair. This chair looks just right. I think I will sit here. But when she sat down, the chair was too small. And it broke into pieces. Oh, said Goldilocks, look what I've done. I broke the chair. Maybe I could fix it. But Goldilocks was very tired. I'm very tired. I think I'll just go upstairs and take a little nap. I will fix the chair later. So Goldilocks climbed up the stairs. When Goldilocks reached the bedroom, she saw three beds. Three beds, she said. First, she tried Papa Bear's great big bed. Oh, she said, this bed is too hard. Next, she tried Mama Bear's middle-sized bed. Oh, she said, this bed is too soft. Then she tried Baby Bear's little bed. Oh, she said, this bed is just right. She got into bed, pulled up the covers, and fell fast asleep. Just then, the three bears returned home from their walk in the woods. Papa Bear said, That was a good walk. But now, I'm really hungry. Papa Bear went right to his great big bowl of porridge. But when he looked at his bowl, he said, Somebody's been eating my porridge. Then Mama Bear looked at her bowl and said, Someone has been eating my porridge. Then Baby Bear looked at his bowl and cried, Somebody has been eating my porridge. And it's all gone. Maybe we should all go sit by the fire, said Papa Bear. Good idea, Papa Bear, said Mama Bear and Baby Bear. When they walked into the next room, Papa Bear went to his great big chair. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Then Baby Bear cried. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, and my chair is broken all to pieces. Maybe we should look upstairs, said Papa Bear. 
Good idea, Papa Bear, said Mama Bear and Baby Bear. So they went upstairs. Papa Bear looked at his great big bed and said, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Next, Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized bed and said, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. Then Baby Bear looked at his bed and cried, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. And there she is. Just then, Goldilocks woke up. She was so frightened when she saw the three bears staring down at her that she jumped out of bed. She ran as fast as her legs would carry her out of the house and all the way home. And all the way home. The end. Goldilocks has always been one of my favorite stories. Did you see the signs in this story? Let's look at them again. Three. Bear. Mama, baby, walk, hot, cold, chair, Hi. Low. Bed. Hard. Soft. We hope you enjoyed our stories and hope that you had some fun learning sign language. Don't worry if you didn't get all the signs the first time. You can watch this tape again and again and each time you'll learn more. All you have to say is sign me a story. See you next time. Happy signing!